Wait, start. Hello. Uh, today I will continue talking about marine, marine science. And today I will talk about uh, profiling mooring, which is uh, one method of uh, researching the um, uh, phenomena happening in the, in the sea, with the seawater and the surroundings. So this is a this is a mooring, uh, specifically this is a profiling mooring, and I will explain in a moment what that means. And this is the uh, general structure. Uh, structure. So it is uh, anchored to the bottom of the ocean. Um, then we have this device, which is used uh, to recover our instrument. It has a hook here, which is activated uh, with the uh, ultrasound instrument. So you send a specific uh, sound code, and then this will uh, release this whole, this whole uh, structure. And so it will float up, and you can recover it uh, with the boat. Okay. Then this here is a winch. Now this is extremely important from a, for a profiling mooring. What the winch does is basically uh, changes the distance of the instrument station from the bottom. So the winch would um, obviously release the cable and then the instrumentation would uh, float up and take readings of the ocean at deeper, different depths. Um, this is called uh, actually uh, the profiling, uh, what was this, uh, instrument platform I think. So profiling instrument platform Here's a better diagram of it. It's made buoyant with these side plates. It's a very light. And then there is a frame here at the center. And attached to the frame, we have the different uh, instruments. For instance, the CTD, which I have talked about last time. So, uh, you have see now this uh, profiling instrument platform which is attached to the mooring or actually it's part of the mooring um, in the previous video I have mentioned the CTD which is one of the uh, instruments uh, in fact it's a sensor array which is attached to that platform and there could be also other uh, instruments and sensors attached to that same profiling instrument platform which is moving up and down during the measurement. Another thing that is attached to that platform is the logger. Now this logger is attached to all other instruments and it is providing power to them. So uh, here we have uh, some logging electronics um, and we have a huge battery pack and through these special undersea connectors and cables the power is uh, distributed to the instruments. So let's see a little bit what we have here. Uh, let's start from from this one. Uh, this one is used to charge the batteries whereas this one here is used to program the timer. It's really important the timer is programmed correctly so that it's in sync with the winch. So uh, the winch which is moving the profiling instrument platform up and down it's going to be activated let's say once per day. In some other missions it will be activated let's say twice per day. But it is really important that at the moment that the winch is activated and starts moving the platform up that's uh, when you want all these other instruments also to start reading and the logger of course to start logging. Okay, um, here this one is attached to the CTD that I have described last time. This one is a nitrate sensor. This one uh, measures the, the sea current, so uh, the movement of, of the sea basically. And this one, it's called micro rider, this is a micro turbulence uh, instrument. It measures turbulence of the water on the micro scale. 
Uh, it's interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. Yeah, that the uh, logging is done on a compact flash card. Oh, let me see if I can remove it. Yeah, here. So just simple compact flash card that you um, you would uh, remove from the instrument and then uh, download the data from it. Um, so an interesting thing is that so um, of course. Everything has to be uh, uh, stored away and uh, protected from the seawater. Here is the uh, titanium cylinder in which everything is inserted. And the internals here are protected with double O-rings here on the side. So it's completely watertight. But you can activate this uh, instrument without any switch because a switch would be a weak point for water to penetrate in. So no switches here. What we use is a magnet. And as you see, now the instrument is active and could be, for instance, programmed. And, you, and I can also deactivate it in the same way. So, I have presented another piece of hardware that is attached to the platform. As you remember, I mentioned the CTD and this is the logger which is also attached to the profiling platform and maybe in some other video I will um, present some other instruments uh, attached to that profiling instrument platform oh hey look what I found in one of the labs this will uh, allow me actually to uh, talk a little bit about uh, an instrumentation that is not used with mooring this frame here is used on smaller boats where uh, you would simply lower this um, frame into the water and do profiling that way but that would be just for really uh, much shorter missions and for experiments that don't last let's say six months but only uh, maybe a few days or few weeks so what we have here in this frame we have a CTD very similar to the, to, one, uh, to the one that I have uh, mentioned in the previous video. So here is a um, sensor array at the bottom. But in addition to that, um, to those sensors, uh, several of which I have already mentioned previously, there is this thing here, which is the um, sea current or uh, sea movement sensor which is using Doppler, as far as I know. So, this is um, what is attached to the other... Um, in the case of um, profiling mooring, this thing is attached directly to the logger. Whereas in this case here, it's attached to the CTD and it's using the battery power inside the CTD. Obviously, these batteries are much smaller, but they are completely uh, suitable for these uh, shorter um, missions. Okay, there is another uh, instrument here that I actually mentioned previously. It's the uh, oxygen sensor. And in this case, this oxygen sensor is not attached at the bottom of the CTD, but it's attached with a cable here. But basically, it does the same thing.